Boston is a fantastic city. I feel like Boston is one of the only cities that really has this vast wealth of, of, of history of our country. It's just there's so many different hospitals in Boston that you know, if you're coming to Boston for the first time, especially with the idea of pursuing a career in medicine, this is just a wonderful place. I wanted to be a doctor and then I tried and I wasn't getting it. I could have done research, I could have worked, but I found this program. The MAMS program, but it's a very well-established program. I believe it's one of the oldest master's programs around. It really better predicts your success in their medical school. I think it's a perfect complex of having your education and your medical and your research experiences all combined into one. And this is my last chance. I need to study, I need to focus, and I need to get into medical school. And I came down here to visit, and as soon as I sort of like stepped onto the hospital green and saw the hospital, I was like, oh, this is so cool. You see these attendings walking really fast back and forth between the buildings, and you see what you want to be doing, and that for me is very inspiring. Here we're taking physiology, histology, embryology, biochemistry, and all these classes that med students also take. You get to see what the life of a medical student is like. It gives you something to look forward to. Um, you know that you're just that close to getting into medical school. And it took some adjustment of my study skills, but I realized my work is paying off. Professors were really teaching to a very deep understanding of the material. It was really sort of exciting for me because I was kind of, I was sitting there understanding things and not just memorizing a bunch of slides. But now you're in this program and you need to excel. And so everyone's there to support each other. All the professors have open door policies. They're all uh, very welcoming to students and they love to answer questions. They are incredible mentors. I just felt supported when I came down here. You're not alone in this. You've got other people going through this with you who find these courses difficult and you're all going to figure this out together. Here I had uh, an advisor who only saw maybe 10 or 11 other people and was really, really invested in my time as well as my future. The advisors instilled the confidence I needed to really be successful and that success translates directly to a successful medical school application. It's tough. It's not something that everyone can do, and I think that this program can get you to say, okay, I know I can do this, and give you that confidence to go into medical school knowing that you can excel in it. You'll have people with you every step of the way, whether it's your classmates, your advisor, your professors, and they're there to help you do well. The program is definitely attentive to what people need in order to succeed not only in their courses, but also on the standardized tests. Everyone has to take the MCAT to get into medical school. And after taking all the courses at MAMS, you'll notice your score will definitely improve. It showed up as a performance and a, a, complete, a complete improvement on my score. If you could succeed in MAMS, it really shows to all the admissions committees at different medical schools that you could actually handle their curriculum and you could succeed. It really is an experience that will give you the foundation that you need. It's going to tailor you to become the best applicant that you can be. Most people come in wanting to go to medical school and most people leave and then go to medical school. If you go through the MAMS program, you realize you can push yourself. You can get to the point where you can do anything. There's hope, there's light at the end of the tunnel. And before you know it, you're a first year medical student. The master's program was that next step and without it, I wouldn't be where I am today in medical school.